This video is sponsored by Vessi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today we are at Sloan's house. If you guys remember, I made over Sloan's bedroom a while ago and now we're back making over her backyard. What's your favorite thing in your bedroom? My bed. Your bed. It's a big girl bed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so today we're not making over your bedroom, we're making over your backyard. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> and here, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> You're natural. So today we are at my friend Jess's home. I've made over a couple rooms of hers before, but today we are tackling the backyard. I'm so excited about this video because it's a style that I haven't really explored before. We are going for Tuscany vibes, so like rustic mixed with new elements. There's an apple tree in her backyard, so it just feels so fitting. This whole area is paved. We have a little bit of grass and she has this gorgeous pool, but this area is really gonna be dedicated to dining and lounging. These doors lead into Jess's kitchen and dining room. So when they're open, this really is an extension of the indoors. So I'm thinking of doing a dining table here. We actually have two dining table options, one rustic, one like brand new. And then over here, I'm thinking of doing a lounge area with a fire pit. I just think the roundness kind of calls for like a cozy lounge space where people can hang out. Over here, of course, is the pool. So we're gonna need to leave space for them to be able to walk out to the pool area. And then I wanna keep the grass just like empty and clean because this is where Sloane and her little sister can play. That's the plan. We have all the furniture. It arrived, there's so many boxes. Alana is currently unpacking them. Let's go see. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Your face. Just texting James. Why is, whenever we're filming, James is always texting us. Okay, so Alana started unpacking all of this gorgeous furniture. You guys, this is from Article. I'm so thankful to be besties with Article because they just make all of my makeover dreams come true. So we ordered these stunning dining chairs and I didn't wanna get like classic dining chairs. I wanted to get something that felt more like a lounge chair because we really wanna make this an extension of the indoors. You could totally use these indoors. They are outdoor pieces. So these are all waterproof cushions. I've had article furniture for so long and it's held up season to season. It's awesome. So these are the lounge chairs that we're gonna be using in the fire pit area, but I have a dilemma in terms of the tables and I wanna walk you through our options. Like I mentioned, the idea for this makeover is making it feel like you're in Tuscany, making it feel like old worldly and rustic, but also add in touches of like modern and newness and like sophistication. Jess actually found this table on the side of the road three days ago. And it is the exact dining table we were looking for originally and just like couldn't find one that was in stock. Issue is, is that it's pretty weathered. I love that look, Jess loves that look, and that's kind of like the vibe we're going for. The dining chairs, they're a different tone of wood. I'm not sure if they're gonna look kind of out of place with the rustic table. So I have a backup table. LOL. It is the same gray tones as the secondhand table, but I was really never sold on how new it looks. I really wanted a table that had character to add to the old worldliness of the Tuscan vibes. We're gonna bring this one in first into the back, see how it looks, and then just kind of troubleshoot from there. Those look like they belong in this backyard. Gorgeous. You guys, let's do a countdown of like how many hours until I can jump in the pool. What do you think, six hours? T minus six hours, till that pool becomes part of me. So we're gonna start with the rustic table in the back. Do you think we can carry this by ourselves is the real question. Okay, pivot. It's Carlos car, don't worry, we can bash it. You know what, it's totally gonna work. 
I actually love the contrast in tones. I love how this is like old and weathered. Then you have the new dining chairs that still work with the style. They're like very rustic. And the gray of the cushions goes with the gray of the table. I have two pendant lights that are gonna be hanging down from the trees. I'm so excited about those. So we have to get the placement of this table right. I found these on Target. They are solar paneled pendant lights. Oh, also FYI, before anyone asks, how do you get Target in Canada? I actually have a reel on my secret to getting Target products delivered to my home in Canada. These pendant lights don't need to be plugged in. They look like pendant lights that belong in a living room. And the idea is that they're gonna hang from the trees and the table's gonna go underneath. I wanted to use pendant lights like these for so long. And I just love that they're solar because you don't need you don't need any electricity outside. Electricity? You don't need any, you don't need any outlets to plug anything in. So let's get these up. Please read the instructions carefully before you. Just kidding. Okay, first time use. So just me and my butter churning dress. Previously on The Handmaid's Tale. Clipping that on there. And then. Oh God. Oh yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Her. Change of plan. I'm actually gonna clip this to the eaves trough. Jess already has something else clipped to the eaves trough. This is gonna get so much sun during the day and it's just gonna look cleaner. There's already a cord here and you don't even notice it when it's in the trees. This was such a good solve because now they literally look like they're floating from the trees. Like, if you don't know where they're plugged in or if they're solar, oh my gosh. This is actually the perfect position because you can come out of this door, go this way, and then you can come out this door and head to the pool. I actually really like that. Visually, it like is very clear that this is the dining hangout, this is the pool area. That looks amazing. I think the positioning's perfect. It leaves room on either side. There's room to bring things out from the kitchen. I am so happy with this table. So glad Jess found it on the side of the road three days ago. This table brings so much character, but then you still have the cleanness of the chairs. We're going to take a quick break in the video to talk about the sponsor of this week's video, Vessi. Vessi is a footwear brand that offers 100% waterproof shoes that are also sustainably made and vegan. The shoes are made from Dymatex, which is a dual knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. These are truly versatile shoes. Noah and I are currently taking a vacation away at a cottage and we've been wearing them the whole time for all of the outdoorsy activities we've been doing. We've been walking with them in the woods and on the beach. We wanted to test how waterproof they were so we were literally like running in the water and my feet did not get even the tiniest bit wet. We also got them really muddy and sandy because we were hiking and just like exploring in the woods and they were so easy to clean. They're not only comfortable and waterproof, but they're also super cute and stylish and just perfect for like running errands or exploring outdoors. Check them out in the link below and use my code Alexandra to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. And now back to the makeover. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the lounge area and I'm gonna start with a rug on the ground. I went with something round to complement how the stone is laid on the ground. Outdoor rugs are such a great way to bring the indoors outside. There's so many different materials nowadays that outdoor rugs are made from. I've got a wajut, which is great in the summer. You definitely wanna store this away in the winter or if you live in a climate where it gets heavy rain. This rug is from Rugs USA. All the links to everything here will be linked down below. <gasps> ah, so good. I'm thinking of placing these chairs like this so that when you walk into the backyard, it feels open rather than having the backs of the chairs towards the door and the, the gate. What? My reflector is in the shot. Carlo's reflector is in the shot. Just Sorry. doing your job. Also, these tree stumps. Oh, that's heavy. Jess had in her garage, they're actually from a tree nearby. I'm thinking of using these as coffee tables. 
I just need to get the positioning of this rug right and the chairs. Sweating. How many hours until that pool? T minus four hours. You're not going to Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, so the next thing I have is a fire table, fire bowl. Not a fire table, a fire bowl. Please check with your landlord, your city, wherever you live, make sure you can have a fire bowl. I keep saying table. Because I know for a fact that in the city of Toronto, you cannot have these. Jess's area allows her to have one, so we brought one in. Obviously, if you have kids, you wanna make sure you're always watching them. I know you guys know this, but I checked with Jess. She was like, yeah, we're totally fine with a fire bowl. But for all of you, just, just do your research. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, and then I'll put these guys as the extra seats. This layout looks so much better. Sometimes you just have to try things out a million times. What's that bird you said? Finesse. Why is that so weird? Is that a British word? It's literally a word. Like, are you just not like. The word is finesse. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. Finesse. I'm going. This is so embarrassing. I have to leave. <laughs> I have to leave. See ya. <laughs> so I have some gravel from Jess's garden. Oh yeah. For a safer option, you could also use battery powered candles. They look just as good. So I want to add some herbs, like a couple flowers maybe around the garden. And I just got some really inexpensive terracotta pots from the hardware store, but I wanna make them look a little weathered, a little rustic, like they've been through something, you know? So this is a super simple DIY. You want some chalk paint and some sandpaper, and then we're gonna use a UV resistant clear acrylic coating at the end. But basically the first thing you wanna do is take some chalk paint and you wanna dry brush it on. So that means like you don't want a ton of paint on your paintbrush, just a little bit. I always feel like I'm like doing an art show, like Art Attack or something. This is Art Attack. And you just wanna like brush it on your pot. Chalk paint takes like no time at all to dry. You wanna take a piece of sandpaper and we're just gonna sand the paint off basically. And that's what's gonna give it a really rustic weathered look. Depending on the amount of paint you put on, you're gonna get a different look. So I put much more paint on this one than on this one. There's no right or wrong answer. There's just, they're just two different looks. So this step is pretty important. Once you've sandpapered off your chalk paint, you want to put on a UV resistant clear acrylic coating. This is just gonna make it waterproof because if it was to rain, all of the chalk paint would run off of this. It just protects the pot. And then you wanna get the herb of your choice. Pop it in your pot. And look at that. It's beautiful. Took me like two minutes. So fun. So now that the pots are done, I'm gonna start adding them around, layered in with some bigger plants. If you're going for more of a rustic, casual, laid back look like Jess, a tip for you guys is to put your plants in like woven baskets. Don't just go for your standard pots. Think of materials that you'd have indoors that you're bringing out. So like this basket is a perfect example, filled with all this lavender. This makeover was pretty simple. There wasn't a lot of elements we had to add, but the finishing touches are what's really gonna make it feel festive out here and cozy. So I'm bringing in things that, you know, you would find indoors, things like placemats, these beautiful florals from Euclid Farms, a florist in Toronto. If you guys don't follow her, please do that now. She'll be linked down below. We're also bringing out some beautiful linen napkins with these gorgeous napkin rings. I found these on Amazon, super inexpensive. Just like little details like this are really what make an outdoor space feel special.
Are you guys ready? Ready. Okay, I want you to picture what your backyard looked like before. Do you remember, Sloan? Uh -huh. Nothing empty. in it. Empty. Empty. Here is your oh new backyard. Oh my God. <laughs> These are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. So beautiful. Yeah, they're just so cool. Look at, look at those. Aren't those pretty? Well, hold on. They look like what? bird nests. Vision we were it's going for. Yeah. It's better. It's way oh, better. I'm it's so like, glad. It looks so good. <laughs> you like it? I yeah. love it. Beautiful. I love it. Can you tell everyone what you think? Uh huh. Love it. You love it? What's your favorite part? The flowers. The flowers. Yay. So now you and mommy and daddy and Avery can eat dinner outside. Can you say click here to subscribe? Click here to subscribe. And we'll see you next week. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.